click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the different methods of refining a particular metal and now in this topic we are going to talk about vapor phase refining so what is vapor phase refining and what are the different other methods to refine a particular metal this is what we are going to talk about in this topic So friends, now here we are going to talk about the vapor phase refining. So that is refining of a particular metal. So in this case, we have to consider those metals which can form a volatile substance. And after the volatile substance, those volatile substance can be decomposed so as to obtain the metal and that metal will be in fact a pure metal. So this is what we have to follow certain conditions. The condition is we have to consider such a metal which can form volatile substance as well as those volatile substance should be able to decompose so that we could get the pure metal so based on this two criteria we have two different methods from which we can purify a particular metal and those different methods are Mond's process and Van Erkel process so in this case I'm going to talk about first let me introduce what is actually Mond's process for refining nickel so in this case I'm talking about Mond's process for refining nickel in this case basically we have to consider a nickel obviously which is basically impure so in that case the nickel is been treated with four moles of carbon monoxide so that's the reason that at a particular temperature of suppose if we say that is suppose 330 Kelvin a volatile substance has been formed and that volatile substance is NiCO4 which is also known as tetracarbonyl nickel. So this is of a gaseous phase because obviously we understand that is this is a volatile substance. So whenever the volatile substance is actually in fact collected and this collected volatile substance is further treated at high temperature so that this volatile substance will get decomposed and thereby we can get a pure metal so in this case the product that is been formed that is NiCO4 that is tetracarbonyl nickel so for decomposition obviously we need a high temperature so that's the reason that at a temperature around 450 Kelvin this volatile substance which is of gaseous phase it will decompose into a formation of nickel along with that of four moles of CO that is carbon monoxide so this nickel which has been formed over here it will be pure so this was nothing but a refining of the metal and in this case we have discussed about Mond's process for refining nickel and the next is Van Erkel process so what is that let me explain you the next is Van Erkel process for refining zirconium and titanium so in this case we have to consider suppose if I'm talking about titanium so suppose if we have that is impure titanium and suppose it consists of nitrogen and oxygen as an impurity so the first thing that we have to do is we have to remove that oxygen or we have to remove those nitrogen gases and now we have basically a crude titanium so this metal is now treated with iodine that is two moles of iodine and that also with a temperature of that is around five to three Kelvin so therefore because of this combination the product that has been formed is known as TiI4 that is nothing but a volatile substance so that's why I'm mentioning the states of it also so in this case the volatile substance that has been produced that is because of the reaction of titanium and iodine at this temperature so this gas is basically collected or this volatile substance is been collected and this volatile substance is basically pass through a tungsten filament and because of the electric charge because electricity easily passes through the tungsten metal and that's the reason because of the heat the titanium will get deposit on the tungsten metal while the iodine it will remain as it is in the vapor phase so in that case suppose TiFO whenever is basically connected on a tungsten filament so that is the temperature should be that is more than 1700 Kelvin so in that case the titanium it will deposit on that filament and the iodine it will be in the vapor phase so therefore this titanium that is what we have obtained now that is basically deposited on the tungsten filament it will be pure and this is nothing but the refining of titanium and this method is known as Ben Erkel method so we can also increase the temperature because obviously we understand that is whenever the electricity has been passed through the tungsten metal so therefore it gets heated up and the temperature actually arises if we increase the flow of electricity so this was nothing but this was the refining of titanium and now let me discuss about zirconium so similar to that of the refining of titanium 
So in this case, we have to consider zirconium, which is obviously we understand that is it would be an impure zirconium, and this is basically treated with two moles of iodine, and at a temperature of that is 870 Kelvin. So therefore, the volatile compound that has been formed is ZrI4, that is tetraiodo zirconium. So in this case, basically we could say that is if this is a gaseous volatile substance, that is what has been formed. So now this would be collected on the tungsten filament. How? That is whenever ZrI4 is basically collected on that is tungsten filament and obviously we are passing electricity through it and suppose by increasing the electricity or by increasing the flow of electricity the temperature will be increased. So we have to increase the temperature till 2075 Kelvin. So in this case the zirconium it will get deposited on the tungsten filament and that is how basically we could get a pure zirconium while the remaining that is I2 it will be in the vapor phase or it will be in the gaseous state. So this is how basically we can obtain zirconium which is nothing but pure one. So this is what the Van Erkel method was and this is what is vapor phase method. So that is what I want to discuss about and that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.